During the Sports Report era, there have been eight state champion girls basketball teams from the TV44 viewing area. Of those eight, a pair won the state title without losing a single game that season. Both of those teams were led by a senior who went on to play D1 college basketball and finished in the top 11 of 44's top 44 as voted on by our panel of media members. <laughs> Amanda Hyde, Liberty Benton, Class of 2010, Basketball. Led the Eagles to the 2010 state title, the perfect 27-0 record. Averaging 21.8 points her senior season to earn District Player of the Year, Blanchard Valley Conference Player of the Year, and First Team All-Ohio honors. As a junior, averaged over 20 points a game while earning Second Team All-Ohio and District Player of the Year awards. Was also First Team All-Ohio in soccer. You know, she, she was so versatile. She, she could score. Um, she was probably one of the most unselfish players I've also uh, coached as well. And there was many times we told her, you need to shoot more. Um, and you don't hear that a whole lot, but with a kid like her, you know, she was scoring 20 points a game and she was just so efficient. You know, she averaged eight or nine, I think nine field goal attempts a game and was averaging 20 points per game, which is almost unheard of. Um, you know, she got to the free throw line, shot a very high percentage from the free throw line. Um, and was just able to do so much on the floor. She was our best defender also, and she just kind of did it all. A lot of times we talk about the seniors as being the leaders and sometimes that's true. Sometimes they lead by example and sometimes they just lean on the court. But Amanda Hyde was that mother figure at Liberty Benton High School that just did everything. I mean, she was so good at soccer. We forget that perhaps that she was one of the best soccer players on the field and they were state ranked and I think made it to the regional. But basketball was where she shined and she just had all those young players around her and really uh, it performed as a team. If she needed to pass the ball, she would pass it. If they needed a big shot, she would shoot it. She was clutch from the free throw line uh, and always stayed so calm. Such composure about her, had a smile on her face whenever you interview her, well thought out responses. You know, she just completely changed our program for us and really got things rolling. And, you know, she was just a natural leader. I and mean, kids followed her. She was, you know, the hardest worker, as most best players tend to be. You know, there was no accident with how good she got to be. And she was just a tireless worker and um, just changed our program. And it's continued to, um, we compare a lot of things to Amanda. She was kind of our first great player, and we've had some good ones along the way, but she was that first one. And we compare a lot of things to Amanda, and you know, she was a great role model for our younger kids, and we still see those benefits today, even though she's been going for a while. Following Liberty Benton, Hyde went on to a stellar college career at IPFW, scoring over 1,600 points for the Mastodons, and spent the last two seasons as a grad assistant at Indiana. Amanda Hyde, number 11 on 44's Top 44 Female Athletes. Hyde was the valedictorian at Liberty Benton in 2010, sharing the honors with Aaron Kraft, and the academic honors continued in college where the two-time Summit League Player of the Year was also twice an academic All-American. Now, as for her brother Nathan, he finished at 47 on our boys' countdown. Join us next Thursday as 44's Top 44 continues with number 10. We'll stay on the hardwood for the lone Van Wert Cougar in the countdown. Of course, each Thursday from now until June, we'll continue the countdown of 44's top 44 female athletes on the Sports Report.